executed by lethal injection in Virginia on September 23rd, 2010. So what was his crime? Let's see it together. In a chilling tale of betrayal and greed, Lewis manipulated two men into committing a heinous act, the murder of her husband and stepson. Her motive? A desperate attempt to secure a hefty $250,000 life insurance payout. The gruesome events unfolded in the early hours of the morning. Julian Lewis, age 51, and C.J. Lewis, age 25, were mercilessly gunned down in their beds while Lewis herself stood nearby in the family trailer's kitchen. As her husband lay dying, she callously seized his wallet, sharing the ill-gotten gains with the hired gunman. Shockingly, she then waited a full 45 minutes before finally summoning help. The two shooters, Matthew Schallenberger, who happened to be her lover, and Rodney Fuller, received life sentences for their roles in the brutal murders. Lewis, however, faced an even grimmer fate. Despite her confession and the evidence against her, she and her legal team believed that pleading guilty would spare her from the death penalty. Unfortunately, they were mistaken. The judge, who had never before imposed capital punishment, saw through her deception. He branded Lewis as the head of this snake and sentenced her to death. This tragic saga serves as a stark reminder of the depths to which human greed and manipulation can lead, leaving shattered lives and irreversible consequences in their wake. In a tragic and morally complex tale, Lewis's fate hangs in the balance as her supporters plead for clemency. They argue that Lewis, who they believe was mentally disabled and manipulated by a more cunning co-conspirator, should not face a harsher punishment than the actual gunman. This high-profile case has drawn international attention. Recently, the European Union penned a letter to Governor McDonnell, urging him to commute Lewis's sentence to life imprisonment, citing her mental capacity. However, prosecutors paint a different picture. They assert that Lewis orchestrated the deadly scheme, providing funds for the purchase of firearms and even orchestrating a previous failed attempt on her husband's life. Rather than pulling the trigger herself, she allegedly enlisted young men to do her bidding. The grim reality is that the last execution of a woman in the United States occurred in 2005. Frances Newton, who fatally shot her husband and two young children, met her end via lethal injection in Texas. Since the reintroduction of the death penalty in 1976, a total of 11 women have been executed nationwide. Last special meal. Fried chicken, peas, Dr. Pepper, and apple pie for dessert. His last words are, I just want Kathy to know that I love you and I'm so sorry.